Hello, friends of Skelevator. So um, this is the final video, uh, the final steps that I took to complete the this recent commission that came my way. Somebody wanted a filmation style snake mountain similar to the one to the large one that I built, but they wanted it at a smaller scale and they wanted just the main mountain with the snake. As you can see here, it's next to uh, my original Castle Grayskull that I built. So you can see it's a little bit smaller, although the levels on the inside are big enough to, to house a few Masterverse figures or classics. Of course, then Origins will fit in there too. And as you can see here, the primed newer Snake Mountain is sitting in front of the older Snake Mountain. Um, and the size comparison is pretty obvious here. Now it's really important before you spray paint your build that you remember to wear a mask um, and that you have the tools you need as you get started. So I brought foam core to block certain areas off. And of course, I've got my masking tape to block off certain areas as well. Now I do an undercoat of the aubergine or the eggplant purple um, to create depth. And then as you'll see later on, I'll, I'll do an overcoat of the lighter purple. Interior is gray, but then I add the, the, um, the lilac, the silver lilac. So I learned a few things from the previous build that I was able to implement with this one. Um, removing the masking tape right before the paint is completely dry allows for less uh, chipping of the dry paint when you remove the tape, which was really great. And I also um, masked off the eyes. I painted them red first and then I masked them off to get a better um, sort of eyelid effect. Um, and then I do a finishing coat of that lighter purple, which is uh, grape. Uh, Krylon Grape. I am quite happy with the way that the head sculpt came out and the way the paint looks on this guy. Um, I hope the person who commissioned this is happy with this sculpt. It's, it's quite a bit better than my original uh, Snake Mountain head. And um, I use a black acrylic paint. I mix it in with a lot of water. And, um, and this is how I create the wash to really bring out some of those uh, recesses and textures that that will that add a lot of character to this build.
So mixing red with the purple really um, allows me to create a, a different shade of purple for these vines. And then the final step, of course, was to give it an overall matte finish. So I, I used a good half of a can of, of matte spray to uh, give this whole thing, uh, to reduce the amount of gloss on this whole sculpt. And as you can see, the figures look quite good in this, in this build. So thank you for watching this new build. Um, thank you for tuning into the Skelevator channel. Please click like and subscribe and let your friends know about this thing that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in a commissioned build, just send me an email. Information is below. Thank you for watching, folks.